Hi guys, welcome back to Ajwit channel. So today in this chemotherapy section, we will be dealing with the basic classification of sulfonamide drugs. Sulfonamides are antimicrobial agents that are used to suppress bacterial infection, to kill the bacteria and also it has got many topical use, gut use etc. So in this video, we will be only discussing the classification of sulfonamides as per the basic books in the pharmacology field. So, sulfonamide as a functional group, that is the basic of several groups in sulfonamide groups. And these drugs are used both in animals and human beings as a synthetic antimicrobial agent. So, the classification based on Harpal Singh Sandhu, this will be mostly useful for the veterinarians and we will be discussing the classification based on this book. So the classification, this picture is taken from the same book. So the classification is, uh, they are mainly classified as two types. That is systemically acting and locally acting. So first we will be discussing the locally acting sulfonamides. So the locally acting sulfonamides are further divided into two categories. That is gut acting sulfonamides. That is they will be acting on the stomach or the intestine. And the next one is topical acting, that is they will be acting on the surface and they will not be having any systemic use. So the gut acting sulfonamide, uh, there are some sulfonamides, you can already, sulfagualidine and sulfasalazine is very important drugs. And sulfasalazine has got very important role in bowel inflammatory symptoms. So the topically acting sulfonamide, that is sulfacetamide, which is mostly used in the eye. And the sulfur sulfadiazine that is used in the burns at all to, to prevent bacterial infection. So the next, the biggest classification is systemically acting sulfonamides. So they actually, depending upon the duration of action of the drugs, they are divided into four categories. That is short acting, which has a duration less than 12 hours. Intermediate acting, which has duration 12 to 24 hours. The next is long acting, that is 24 to 48 hours. The next one is ultra long acting, that is they will be having the duration more than 2 days. So the systemic actings and in the short acting drugs we will be having sulfadiazine, sulfafurazole, sulfamerazine, sulfathiazole and sulfanilamides. And in the intermediating acting we have sulfadimidine, sulfamethaxazole, that is very important in the case of quadrimaxazole, that is combination or potentiation with diaminopyridine that is trimethoprim. The long acting sulfonamides we have sulfa dimethoxin, sulfa bromomethazin, sulfa methoxypyridazine and sulfa ethoxypyridazine. So the names are bigger in case of long acting sulfonamides. You can easily remember that is the long names, long very long names for long acting sulfonamides. Methoxy, ethoxy, methazine, bromo like yeah it's bigger. And in the case of ultra long acting sulfonamides, we have sulfadoxin and sulfamethopyrazine. So, sulfadoxin is a very important drug in case of ultra long acting. So, for the medical guys, so this is your Bible of pharmacology, right? Medical pharmacology of KD3 body. So, based on this book, I have classified the sulfonamides. So, the classification is short acting drug that is sulfadiazine, intermediate acting that is sulfamethoxazole. So, uh, this duration of action is very different in case of the veterinary pharmacology and this pharmacology. So the drug combinations will be different like this. Sulfamethoxaxole, that is the SMX, is in the intermediate acting and the long acting is sulfadoxin. So yeah, these two drugs are actually in the ultra long acting in case of veterinary pharmacology. And the special purpose drugs, that is sulfadiazine, that is silver sulfadiazine. And muffinite, sulfasalazine, yeah, that's the good acting, sulfacetamide sodium, that is used for the topical use. So, thank you.